update from Western Mass News. Good morning, I'm Amanda Callahan. Here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. One person is without a place to stay ahead of the holidays after a two alarm fire in Springfield. That fire broke out at a home on Layford Terrace shortly after 5 p.m. last night. No injuries were reported, but officials say that fire started in the attic and quickly spread. The cause of the fire is still under investigation by the Springfield Arson and Bomb Squad. Ludlow police were called to Baird Middle School after a, receiving a report of a weapon in the building yesterday. According to officials, officers were notified by a parent whose student told them about an incident that was ongoing at the school. After receiving that report, police were immediately dispatched and launched an investigation into that claim. Shortly after, they determined there was no credible threat to the school. A man charged with murdering a teenager in a Westfield Park years ago has been found not guilty by reason of insanity. Back in September of 2019, Vadim Mazurik was arrested for the murder of his friend, a Southwick Regional High Schooler, Nazar Takach. Police say he took a razor blade to Takach's throat after getting into an argument when Mazurik believed Takach called him a racial slur. All right, happy Wednesday, everybody. It is sunny, but it is cold today, and we're tracking our next storm for Thursday night into Friday, which will be a first alert weather day. Uh, the impacts in the valley will be low because it's generally going to be rain, but in the hill towns, it'll be high. This is where we're expecting quite a bit of snowfall. In fact, perhaps up over six inches of that pasty snow, wet in nature, perhaps, and that could be an issue as well. But a mix tomorrow, Thursday night, tomorrow night, into the wee hours of the morning, going over to rain in the valley. But it will likely be rain Friday in the valley as well, maybe ending in some snow showers Friday evening into Saturday morning. But again, it will be snow in the hills. And we could have some gusty winds at 30 to 35 miles per hour. And with areas that get over half a foot of snow, along with the gusty winds and that snow being rather pasty in nature, that could lead to perhaps some power outages. But this is what we're thinking. Not much in the valley the way it looks now. Temperatures may creep just above freezing so that it's more or less a cold rain after maybe some minor accumulations. Then snow totals go up as you get into West Hampton and then eventually Worthington, Huntington, the Hill Towns, and Northern Berkshire County. That's where you could see up over eight inches of snow late tomorrow night and through the day on Friday. But today and tomorrow is dry, brisk and chilly today, a high of 40 tomorrow. Then a mix comes in tomorrow night sometime between 8 p.m. and midnight. And then it does go over to rain in the valley while it will snow out across the hills and higher terrain Friday, winding down as rain and snow showers Friday night into Saturday morning. That's your look at your forecast. Have a great day, everybody. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.